My trip to CES in Las Vegas was sponsored by LDO. Hey, Jason, how you doing? Yeah, Vegas. That's right. I'm at CES, and I'm going to try to find 3D printing. I, of course, acquired some caffeine. Plus, CES is much better with friends. Hello. We left Treasure Island and crossed the pedestrian bridge over to the Venetian. From there, we followed the crowd, and anytime I saw a sign that said 3D printing, I knew we were on the right track. We arrived at Hall D, and we looked around. We found the 3D printing section. It's not what it used to be. 3D printing at CES used to be a lot larger, more companies here. Now it's almost like it's been shoved into a corner. There's still some cool companies here and we're gonna check them out. We found the Formlabs booth and they had some crazy demo prints. Squishy prints, solid prints, prints that made a satisfying clicking sound. Even a seat that you can sit on and a cup that looks like a freaking cup. Whoa plus a durable resin print that survives being hammered on the concrete floor. Double whoa. We aren't here just for the printers. I heard Formlabs has a new resin for non-Formlabs 3D printers. Formlabs historically has had prosumer or professional 3D printers and the costs are associated with that. So now they have a creator resin, which is supposed to be resins for all of the other machines out there. Let's find out more about that because I'm kind of curious. I was going to talk to my buddy Michael Baker from Formlabs and we were going to do it right next to this massive Form 4L. Creator Resins, how did this come about? Yeah, this is something we're super excited about. Uh, the 3D printing, resin 3D printing has really exploded and we've seen so many people using it outside of our normal audience. So Formlabs, we typically sell to professionals, dental, doctors, medical, assembly manufacturers, but there's been this huge growing population of hobbyists, of design, of model makers, miniatures, and we really wanted to help them out and give them some resins that are gonna be better than what's out there. I like that. Well, and, you know, to be fair, the Formlabs ecosystem isn't isn't consumer focused, but a lot of consumers are seeing the advent of these really incredible machines, like from AnyCubic and Elegoo and Creality, that they can get to actually start doing prototyping or manufacturing themselves. And so it makes sense that you'd want to get into that market. Yeah. Well, we want to serve as many people who love 3D printing as we can. We, you know, we love people doing whatever they want to do. If it's for their hobby, starting their own business or anything, we feel like through our own products we can help them, but we can also do it by developing really high quality resins for different machines. Yeah. So creator tough resin, yep. creator tough resin. Yep. Now people are going to say, well, wait a minute. Why is Formlabs offering this and their current resin? Because this isn't gonna run on this, right? unless it's in open mode, yep. you, know, open you know, whatever, you whatever. Yeah, but, but again, how different is this from the, the tough resin that goes in that? Yeah, it is different in a lot of uh, kind of small ways. It's different components that go into the materials. Um, and there's different validation and testing that we do it for a Formlabs printer. Uh -huh. um, but what you get out of this is going to be really similar um, in terms of performance and detail to what you could get on an actual Formlabs um, tough resin. Okay. Um, but designed more for the hobbyist and maker community. Okay. And uh, let's see, on Amazon, if I go there right now, like a Soraya Tech fast gray is going to be roughly 20 bucks a kilogram right yep. and then what so what does this cost this is 35 I want to check that uh, yeah we'll check, check it I'll tell it. you what we'll put the correct price on the screen it's a little bit more expensive than a standard consumer resin but you're trying to give them a more peak performance there's, right there's two things right so there's the performance and there's the safety and we're really at, we know about as much as 3d printing resins as anybody knows yeah. and we know that uh, as there's this influx of people using other kind of lower cost uh, options there are some safety concerns around that and we care a lot about that and so we have materials scientists who are really know everything that goes into the materials how they actually perform in printers and what that means for your safety and so okay. the price difference between the kind of really low end of what you can get is we uh, do not use um, some compounds that we know can be dangerous or that haven't been uh, tested and validated in the same way that we really care about the materials that we okay. make. Uh, and then, like you said, performance. So it is really going to get that detail that you can't necessarily get out of the kind of cheaper, more more affordable options. Well, I know one of the reasons why a, a Formlab setup is so advantageous is because you get that repeatability of mechanical properties after curing. Yep. Oh, you know, 
every single kilogram of resin. You get that. You get a certification that says this bottle and the tenth bottle are going to be the same. Do do we get the same sort of level of certification on this? Yeah. So we have done like a huge, extensive amount of testing on this, the same way we do for our own resins. Uh, we or for the resins that we make for our own ecosystem. We uh, tried out the most popular 3D printers that people would use this for. We test it. We validate. We do all of the kind of from the beginning to the end, what the finished part looks like, what every you know bottle of resin yeah. is going to contain. All that is the, the same level that you would okay. form labs. Well, okay. I'm glad you mentioned finished part because we have a few of them here. Sure do. And as a form labs employee, you used your resin on third party machines yep. and they came out. Well, I mean, yep. I mean, look at that. I love that one. It's, you know, you hold it up to something that comes off of Form 4 and it looks pretty similar. There are going to be, you know, slight differences and, yeah. the, the, like I said, the components are slightly different, but it really maintains that, that level of surface detail and quality that you come to expect. Obviously, a lot of people that have consumer-based resin 3D printers are looking to do miniatures. Yep. Mike, it looks good. Like, I mean, it looks, it looks really, really good. This, not just passable, but something where a model maker would then get this painted. Yeah, not just passable, like something you're proud of, right? Yeah. It's something that you want to use in a D&D setup or you even, you know, sell on an Etsy shop or paint for yourself. It's something that you're really proud of. And you can still post process like this is obviously polished. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to come out like this. Uh, but but the examples here look they look good. Like these all are are fantastic examples and uh, I see some colors here. So this says Crater Resin Gray. Now is this, is are there more than just the gray? There is not more than the gray. That's actually, I think the clear, um, but with uh, some dyes added. Uh, okay. It, yeah. So, so you've got gray. Yep. So you've got clear. Yep. And who, the roadmap, who knows? Where, okay. Where you were. Oh, I, so if these become popular and a, and a consistent sort of revenue stream for Form Labs, it makes sense to sort of invest in the portfolio. Exactly. So obviously, if you're going to expand the platform, you're going to want people to reach out with feedback, right? Yep. So now's your opportunity. Look right there. What sort of feedback are you looking for? We want all the feedback you have. So you can currently, this is available on Amazon in the US and Canada. Order it, leave reviews. We want to hear about this. Reach out to us. There's lots of great information that you can get. Uh, and we want to hear everything that you're using this for. Share your parts on social. Tag Formlabs Creators Resins. This is the, the beauty of it, is what you make with these resins. That was Michael at the Form Labs booth, and obviously that was a good conversation. Wait a minute, I didn't get the high five. You ready? There it is. All right, do it, do it. Let's go. Oh, yeah.